Hey everyone, I'm Coach Todd. Welcome to 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you'll get the inside scoop to get you ahead of the game. At 49ers EDU, we bring football to life through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. STEAM can be found in every part of our lives, and it will be important to your future. We need people like you who come from different backgrounds, cultures, and experiences to share your innovative thinking with the world. Diversity in STEAM brings together more interests and skills that we can learn from to generate ideas and solve problems. We want to encourage you to positively impact your environment, your home, your school, and your community. In this lesson, I want to focus on science, the way we understand how our world works. When you understand science, you're empowered by that knowledge. If you have access to our digital playbook or a printout, we're going to focus on page 7 in this video. And this page shows how we can use football to learn all about the science of physics. So let's take a minute to understand our terms. Science term one, matter. Matter is anything that takes up space and has weight, like you, the air you breathe, or the water you drink. Matter makes up all solid, liquid, and gas objects. Science term two, energy. Energy is the ability to do work. It's the fuel for movement. Science term three, physics. Physics is the branch of science used to study matter and energy. So physics is all about how things move. This is physics. Garoppolo back, he throws out left, caught! George Kittle down the sideline, 40! Runs by a man, stiff arms a man! George Kittle went crazy on the play. And now that we understand those terms, we can go for the extra point. That important bonus point that we get to try for after scoring a touchdown. This will be key to completing today's activity. The extra point term today is force. A force is a push or a pull interaction that starts or stops motion. Hmm, what does a push look like? Can I see a push? That's great. How about a pull? What does a pull look like? <music> to be able to push and pull or interact with matter, you need to have energy. And there are lots of kinds of energy. Our toys get energy from batteries. Energy for a plant comes from the sun, and we get our energy from what we eat and drink. And with that energy, football players can exert force all over the field with pushes, pulls, blocks, runs, tackles, and throws. A force can be measured in size and direction. That means forces can be balanced or unbalanced. When forces are balanced, it means forces are pushing or pulling on an object, but we don't see any movement. Look around your house right now. Are most things moving or are they staying still? At my house, they're mostly still, but forces are acting on them. Air pressure and gravity don't stop just because something is on a table or nailed to the wall. For example, imagine holding a tool. You're probably strong enough to hold it still in your hands. The force of gravity pulling the tool is balanced with your force holding it up. Now, imagine we give you more and more and more and more stuff to hold. Eventually, the weight powered by gravity will unbalance those forces and be too heavy for you to hold anymore. And we'll see the movement of the supplies come crashing down to the ground. So when forces are balanced, we tend not to see movement. We see movement when forces become unbalanced. And we see this concept acting on every play at the line of scrimmage. Players on each side of the line are pushing against each other, hoping to be the stronger force. Middle, middle. Hey, over here! High five. In addition to the football game, forces help us understand how stadiums we play in are built, how airplanes fly us to other cities, and how our bodies heal if we get hurt. Now that we know all about forces, let's look at activity one on page seven. 
For this activity, we'll use the pitchers and try to determine whether each one is showing our players push or pull, and if they're starting motion or stopping motion by using that force. Looking at the first pitcher, we see our 49ers player running. If it's safe to do where you are, try to run for a couple of steps. Do you feel your body pushing or pulling? And what part of your body is doing the push or pull to make you run? Now, when I observe running, I can see feet pushing against the ground. So I'll select push. Do you feel like that is starting or stopping motion? Well, running isn't stopping, so I'll select start. Great, I'm glad we got to do the first problem together, but I think you'll be able to handle the rest on your own. Look at the remaining pictures and see if you can figure them out. Don't worry if one of your selections comes up red. That's how we learn. I hope you learned something new today and had fun while doing it. Take your time completing the page and don't be afraid to ask a grown-up for help. And when you finish, you'll be experts on forces in motion. You'll be able to find new ways to see forces in action every day. Then, see how you can use that knowledge to tackle the rest of the playbook. We say scientists learn by experiencing the world. Well, guess what? You are scientists. And whether or not you choose to pursue a career in STEAM, I hope you can appreciate the importance of science and hope you learn something today that helps you change the world in the future. So practice what you learned and share videos or pictures with us by using hashtag 49ersEDU or sending directly to us at edu at 49ers.com. And consider who else could benefit from this discussion and share it with them as well. The description box below will have links for all the ways that you can learn with us. Thanks so much for joining me. Go Niners!